All right, sorry if the video is, sorry if it's a little crooked. Oh, jeez, watch how the dog is going to trample. Some, someone, I won't point any fingers. I've already admitted it on video. I trashed, so. trashed the, the uh, yeah. tripod. Yep. Chloe, bring it back. Squirrel face. And the dog is going, like, ape right now because we gave her a small piece of squirrel, apple. Squirrel, you got squirrel face. So she's squirrel face. No, and you don't even need to get squirrel it. face. Get squirrel face. So yeah, note to people, do not give dogs small apple slices. Yay, yay, yay. But we figured since it was um, Shabbat, we were like, eh, I'll give her a little treat. So. Happy Shabbat! Let's explain why there are a bunch of boxes back in uh, the back. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. Video, yeah. I mean, I'm going to touch upon it lightly. There were moving? Yeah, they were moving. Squirrel yeah. face. Just go. Get squirrel face. <laughs> get yeah. out of here. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Brought this out, which it's, will explain what a, this is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a drink. I blew it. There you go. Yes. And this, well, obviously this is a drink. What do you think? It's our first ferment that actually is completed. Um. How to do? It's great. If I had like three tablespoons of sugar, it'd be even better. Well, I watered it down. Oh. Water in it so we get some water, you know, in it. No, it's good. I think though, without the water, it'd be perfect. Because I think I had some without, without the water. Who dropped that on the floor? Too without that. So this is a, a probiotic lemonade. That I made. That we found um, through Doug, Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Really it's like that segue right there. That was an awesome, awesome segue right there. What's segue mean? It means when you have a conversation and you, um, you go into another topic. So you could just, you change into a different topic. So you could say... Oh, yeah, my, my socks yeah. really stunk after I took off my shoes. So how do you like the color of my couch? <laughs> so instead of an abrupt uh, change, you can say, Oh, we're drinking this drink. It tastes good. It's probiotic, blah, blah, blah. And we learned it from Doug and Stacy. And our main, one of our main topics is Doug and Stacy. So it was a smooth segue. Yeah, this, a change um, of top. Introductory, an introductory bit. For the video into um, one of the main topics. Yeah, so get out. <laughs> get out. Get out. Okay, this is chaotic, but this is yeah. us. So. Don't bring it, Bella. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Talk, why aren't you playing with your friends today? What do we say? Get out. Out. Children. Um, so I was, as I was mentioning, um, Off Grid with Doug and Stacey, and this probiotic drink is like probably one of the easiest ones. I mean, it's literally oh, I think carrots as well. six. Squeeze lemons. Six squeeze lemons. Just go. Put her down. Yeah, put her down and go play in your room. Um, and then we added like half a carton, a half a small carton of strawberries. Did you, you know, we blended them up, right? No, I think a little bit of taste, nutmeg. Um, and the and taste then... would change depending on, you know, sometimes you get strawberries and they're like awesome. That's and then sometimes true. you get strawberries and they're like, eh, not bad. And then we What's fill that up. Well, we fill up a half a gallon of a okay. jar, okay. and then um, yeah, Bill, come on, you gotta get out. It's I'm not rude. Can we do you want to do this? Patient. Patient. Um, and then we let it. We literally let it sit for three days, and then you bottle up and put it in the fridge. And yeah, so I think this is the quickest one. That we've done and it's really simple so we're going to see how we so speaking of that we have been watching a lot of their fermenting videos and just started fermenting like crazy people <laughs> like we've done carrots we've done i've done a lot of cabbage cabbage and beef cabbage and apples sweet potatoes i think tomorrow i'm going to try um, peppers. I want to do the peppers and basil, and then I want to do the um, pickles for Bella because Bella loves pickles. So we have been learning all about preservation of food, and probably one of the easiest ways they did back then when they didn't have pressure canners and all these like fancy things. But my question is, if they did have water and salt, minute, but if they didn't have airtight containers, how did they do that? Or did I they mean, just... they must have found something else that they could use. That way. Maybe they didn't have tops, but they just put a weight on the food so it was under the. Oh, yeah, a rock. But, uh, but I don't something? think oxygen, Maybe they sterilize I don't think the oxygen's rock. supposed to get to it, so I don't know how they. Well, remember, you could use the food as a puck. 
So they probably the oxygen still gets food. to it without the without the. That's the whole point of burping it. And well, here's yeah. I wonder if some of the like pots and things that they made would be able to do something like that. Not without seals or. I mean, I'm sure they obviously figured out a way. I mean, people. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm ninety nine. So. I'm ninety nine percent joking right now. But we saw the seven hour long video that said a lot of things, including. Yeah, anyway, Whatever. sometimes I believe that. Like, so, were, we, um, were we really around that long ago? Oh. We didn't, yeah, we've obviously softened way much. Yeah. But, um, so they have so many great uh, tips about growing. Like, look, our garden has, tons, like, tons. rippled over there. We learned how to do um, some of the sweet potatoes. And we actually got a sprout. We got two sprouts so far from watching their video. We tried it another way, and it just didn't work. It was horrible. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we've got a t they've got tons of like Chloe. gardening, tons of um, like like right, running she's water, a, especially in like the cold and. Um, she's at the door again, and she's sniffing around. Well, you want to get Bella? Bella, this is our. Sorry, Be Bella, come here. And can you actually take the dog next time? I think that's the point of having take, the you, dog. She's at the doorbell and she's sniffing around. Can you guys not give her a duck's foot, her dinner, her d breakfast, oh, a bowl of milk, milk, and a piece of apple next time? Come on, take her out. Okay, wait for your leash. Yeah, she's... Um... Production value. Get her out of the thing. She's going to mess up the... <laughs> I think that like we should just have like like steam coming from my head. It was a cartoon, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, like... Between the kid and the dog. Hey, I didn't do anything. It's the dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I need my sure. Uh, use you mine. Can, yeah, just use daddy's. A uh, what? You have like ten inches of feet right there. So um, yeah, so there's tons of videos about like running water and how to live like off grid, and then um, also posting a lot of. And this is so important is trying to post information on truth and what's like truly going on in, in the world and with our like with our government systems and how yeah, they touch we are upon being the, lied to about a lot of different things oh, and you know everything. they touch yeah, upon much everything. Yeah, the typical things that if you watch channels like that in this channel. You're probably going to agree with, so um, you know. And um, which will just segue real into quick, else. real quick. I notice once in a while I, when you when you Google their videos, you you obviously it, it, the algorithm, the search algorithm picks up things related to them too. So it's like fake homesteaders and fake preppers, and 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 it's like well. Even if they are lying about something, which I, well, who how knows? How do we know? And how do they know? Um, the other people. Yeah, my you know, thing is. She's just crazy. My, the thing we'll is, take is, her then. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. The, the, th the thing is, is um, even if they are filming with some, the information they give in regards to growing and canning oh, and, you know, their governmental reporting and their, can opinion, their, well, their opinions on it. No, we want yeah, you to go no. and deal with her. What? Why go to your room. Because you're the one of the dog. Hey, where's your toy? <laughs> you gotta sometimes play with her. And her leash. <laughs> no, you're not bringing her leash out in the room. No. No, no, no. Just but bring it. In no. She needs to take her to the bathroom. But don't use it. Well, leave her out here. There you go. Okay. Goodbye. Um, Good riddance. So. <laughs> so um, I love you. <laughs> you're the best. Even if they, the, the the amount of good information. Oh, they're afraid because they, you know, have a solar panel or something. Cares. Yeah. That's all. It's that's all, all garbage. You gotta be, you gotta be careful with other people's agendas, yeah, though, too, because yeah. some people might not like the truth. Or even if it's not, know, like I said, try to bust are. people. Whatever. Right. I I don't know about that type of stuff. All I know is that the tips that they give work, and I'm going to shoot the kid. And what? Is, what? <laughs> don't. No. What? Just play with her. Wrong with children sometimes. Your brain's not Us. like. <laughs> Us, because we don't, when she, when she doesn't yeah. listen, we don't punish her enough. Well, we, we did, because she is not going, she is not going out to Remember. outside, not going out with her friends, and not videoing any of her friends. And tomorrow she's probably not going There's to either. Parenting 101. Yeah. Look in the mirror. Yeah. If your kid acts like an asshole, 
because you were you were one in letting him act like you are. Like, get get what I'm going with that. Like, we're not the best with. We're, I mean, we're all, we do good, but when we're, okay. we're kind of lags because we don't let in that shows because sometimes she doesn't listen. So, so I'm trying to be a little bit more um, working on respect and listening. Yeah. I think that's our goal. If you don't like right the way now. your kid acts, 99 percent of the time, look in the mirror. And sometimes nobody's perfect, so sometimes well, sure, you just sure. Get I mean, you're like always going to do something to your kid, that's, right? Yeah. And then you're like, oh man, they're acting this way, and I bet it's because of this. And then you, you know, so here's you know, another. It's, it's real life. Here's another pro tip: if you're at a place of the party and a bunch of adults and the kids are there too, once the kids start playing and start acting, forgetting to like behave because mom and dad are there, look at the kids who act like turds more versus the kids who don't. That's how you know. Scott, probiotic. You're, 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 you can eyes? look. You can. See past the the show that the people put on. It's oh, I'm a good parent present. Now, now watch how the kid acts. Anyhow, when they play, that's how you um, get the real. Yeah. So we were anyway, we, yeah, trying to really not go all over the place. We're, we're already listen, like we, all over the go, place. We go all over the place. But uh, yeah, so we were on. Doug and Stacy, they're talk. good. Watch them. Off, yeah, we're gonna off grid with Doug and Stacy. We're also late. Oh, not only that, they they yeah we will. They uh, recommend products. Which are fabulous, like Redmond Salt. So I wanted to actually talk to you about. Well, that was the, the same way. They, that Redmond Salt. We've also learned, and this is Redmond's real salt and water. So it's As pretty much salt, salt water, Soleil, whatever you want to call it. Don't say Soleil. That's the stupidest word I've ever heard. I don't it sounds care. dumb. It's gay. But it's like what six word. tablespoons? I mean, I've been. Yeah. Who cares? Five, five six in a, in a pint jar, and then you once you mix it up. It'll, Let it sit overnight. Yeah, it'll, the water will clear up. We get a little bit of sediment on the bottom. They will so, put too much in. Um, and then um, every day you take a teaspoon and just add it to a drink of water and then one teaspoon for the day. And that's it. And ever since I started, remember, Redmond's Real Salt, ever since I started doing that, I turned into Superman. I actually like got I fly. way, I get way more energy. Oh, yeah, I, I, I fly and I can lift up like Don't cars. Fly it, but... I'm like, I notice a difference. Vis I can have lasers coming from my eye. Heat vision? Superman. So, right there. Yeah, so it's, because obviously we're made of normal saline, so our body isn't just made of water. We have electrolytes. Like, salt is pretty much number one. Then behind that is potassium, magnesium. You know, they all do count. But salt <laughs> water, you know. You're lying, baby. We're not made of any of this Listen, stuff. Listen, when we would hydrate people that would come in, from um, their cancer treatment because I did a bunch of hydration on my chemo patients. Normal saline. She, listen. Normal saline. Everybody Salt knows. Water. Everybody knows that girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice, and boys are made of what was this other thing? Excuse me. I, I don't even know. I ruined the joke, but you get the idea. But um, they also like we were talking about say a lot of truthful. Truthful things. And at least that at least, was at least, part of what why we wanted to come on. At and, least and things talk. we agree with. Like yeah. um, they just did uh, an expose, <laughs> and uh, now it was their local. I think it was. Don't no, 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 no. It was in Texas, I believe. Yes. They live in Missouri. Sorry for sorry for uh, the opsec breach there, Doug and Stacy. But they say all the time so. Missouri and in Texas, they somehow stumbled upon uh, across a drag queen show oh where you know drag queens are provocatively dancing in front of children. It was just a mess. Okay, right? yeah, it's a mess. I'm and sorry, but when you talk about disgusting and despicable, an agenda, and that's probably something that would come to my mind. So, um, and, and Tractor Supply was a sponsor along with uh, SpaceX and whatever, like, and um. You yeah, know, so when they were called out on it, they well, didn't deny it or something to that effect. I mean, it's, think about that. Lots of drag queens dancing provocatively in front of little children, people. And then and the grossest thing of all is the freaking parents were like brought them there and were like into it. Like that shows you where society is, people. If adults are bringing their children to provocative drag queen shows, where are we going here, guys? Well, if, you, if you're if you out and you don't know, and for some reason you you um, run into that type of thing, like a lot of people get embarrassed and don't want to say anything, so they decide to play along. No, you either speak yeah. up, or then you just say to tell your kids this is wrong, and then you leave. But, um, you don't what's, subject to that. That's like, yeah. that's what's like sexual abuse. What's equally, I'm sorry. Equally is disturbing, in my opinion. 
is the fact that when the event, the people that were responsible for the event released a statement, they, they, they tried to like, you know, play both sides. They tried to, it was a pretty slick as far as PR goes, all you know, but you could see right through, but it was an attempt at least. They said, well, you know, the, the, the individual in question, the main guy or a couple guys were dancing like that, you know, we, we can't be responsible. They might've did a little too far. It was like a couple of us wordplay said, you know, just to throw a bone to the people, but they spent the rest of the article or their statement going, the person who recorded this is, you know, was out there to like spread hate. Yeah. Like it was a hit piece on the person the who person. actually, yeah, yeah. Doing yeah. the right thing. It's actually, no, no, the person who shines light on cockroaches is not the bad guy. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Like, really? And yeah. You doing you that really to kids? Think that that's no, if you if you want to dress in other people's clothes or be it whatever, I don't care. More power to you. I whatever I think, whatever. I don't but know, when you but... do it to agenda and and confuse children's, yeah, you're a cockroach. Yeah, you're kind Shit. of you're disgusting and despicable because that's sexual abuse. Just like I saw for children. Just like for I saw children, um, not like just out in the back. Like that's yeah. different. Like well, if you're dancing provocatively in front of children. That's sexual abuse. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, that's the gross part, really. You know what I mean? And even if... And then those idiot Even if parents, somebody like me did it, it would be equally as yeah. disgusting. They'd so arrest you. Don't if get it, me wrong yeah, here. If, if it was right. a regular adult, they'd arrest you for some sort right. of indecency. Right. But if it's drag queen, oh, well, it's... You know, see, that's what shows... You can tell. Again, people, it's very simple. Look at the actions. If you want to tell what your local government, your state government, federal government... What their word do their words match their actions and does all that match you know morals and and the right thing to do it's very simple look at their actions if they don't arrest that or rebuke that or make that illegal but if a normal you know someone really just gets drinks a lot of the, uh, um, a concert and pees around a tree where no one else see you know it's all grown-ups they get arrested and charged with a sexual charge for peeing or uh, if it was a regular adult dancing like that in front of kids on purpose, you you could bet they'd arrest them too. That that shows you that they have an agenda, and that's not not the correct one. You know, especially don't forget about the agenda of gay versus not gay. When you have a government protecting or pushing a class of people that is like at most three percent of the population and not representing the majority, even though uh, well, that's whatever. Um, why? Why? Look at big business. Big business is the only reason I hate to break it to people. Take some business classes. The only reason businesses exist, by definition, not to be green, not to make you happy, not to, you know, whatever, not to contribute to play. It's to make money. It's not a good or bad thing, just to make money. So when businesses start doing things, it's um, usually to make more money. Advertise, you know, oh, we support this or whatever. But when they, so when they start supporting and advertising for, to 3% of the population, 10% of the population, what, why? You have to ask yourself why. Well, they just want to open market. And go, mm, maybe, or maybe, yeah, if, if you, maybe, if um, in individual cases, but when you see a concerted effort between the government, media, yeah. big business, then, yeah. So, um, I put Chloe on the ground and she started banging at the door, so I think she wants to come out here. We'll, we'll just try to is. take her out first, okay? Yeah, take her out first, please, just Make one sure more time. Make sure that it's not, like, yeah. stay out there for a few minutes. Yeah, it's because she <laughs> ate and drank a lot. So I think the moral of the story is, like, we wanted to get this story out um, to help them kind of spread the word and spread the truth, truth on Was it this. the local trick? No, I, I it was in Texas. Yeah, yeah, but... But, but I, I think the company... <laughs> Has done this for years, to be honest. Tractor supply. But I don't know if it's the local one or if the regional one is like, you know, dis I don't know. It doesn't. I think, you know what I mean? Like, I think they have a record of doing it. So it's not like a one time. Well, I just don't want to look at it. I mean, but yeah, you yeah. Could, we're going to link. Well, we're going to, obviously, they did it. Like, the, the one in Texas did it. And that's what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. So, and I'm sorry, but if that company let them do it as a whole, yeah, they can. That, that, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, guys. That, sorry. They, yeah, they can be like, what, what are you doing? Yeah, they could have shut that down. That's a representation. Yeah, like, of their... they, like in, yeah, they could be like, what the f, y'all? So we're gonna post a link to Doug and Stacy's video because they've got all the info. Um, so you guys can also watch because they've got all the proof. Yeah, he and everything. explains it. He explains it really more well. And shows the video.
Yeah, we're just trying to bring light, you know, as, um, yeah. I mean, we're not like perfect and whatnot, but, you know, we do believe in trying to spread the truth and trying to repent when we screw up, you know what I mean? So we've got to um, help bring those kind of stories out to help get the word out of like what they're trying to do to children and what they're trying to do to society and to, like I said, us believers in um, you, you know, obviously Yeshua, we can't just sit around and do nothing. So, um, yeah, that was, so that was one of the main parts. And then we're just going to kind of just, we're not going to spill the beans on anything, but there's just some food for thought conversation and kind of just an update on what the heck is going on in our life. Cause we've been, well, we've been a little bit more absent because we got Chloe, obviously. And we were kind of getting into the swing of things, but I think our life has ultimately changed this week. Um, out of nowhere, out of the blue, so you never know. Like, our, we are so fragile. We'll tell you the right? whole story. We'll, we'll right, tell you the whole story I don't want to say it now. We have to really pray on it and figure out how we're going to do it. But we had to make a hard choice. That's all I'm going to say. And it was either make the choice or lose the house or lose the apartment. And uh, we chose, Ill being we chose leaving this. Illegally, by the way. Yeah. So, that later. well, yeah, I'm not going to say, but we, uh, yeah, so they were literally going to evict us in three days. Um, it has been three days, so I'm sure at some point we'll be screwed. And... Okay, let her go. You can go. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> you can't jump oh that high. Oh, my gosh, kiddo. You can't jump what that high. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, um okay. all right, fella. Yeah, play. we'll finish this up because we're getting close to it anyway. It's yeah. not gonna be like this huge long video. So, um yeah, we so we decided that we are going to be in the next like two weeks permanently looking for another place. Um and if resort if we have to resort, we'll probably go back home. Um I won't say anything of where yeah, that is or anything subjects. like that, but so that's kind of like, uh, you know, where we're at. So we'll probably be pretty you up busy for the next yeah. couple of weeks. So if people can just pray that we could hear the truth of what the Lord wants to do in our life and where he wants us to go, that would be awesome because that's kind of where we're at right now. And it just kind of got me into thinking a lot about choices and persecution of Christians and um, how that is just going to keep coming hard, you know, uh, especially with the way that the morals are. I mean, even if we don't go based off of the prop end time prophecy of the book, if we just look at our general society, we can see the trend of where it's, where it's going with persecution, right? And morals and all that kind of stuff. And then we can also bring in prophecy too and get a whole mm. big picture. So it's like when you're forced to make a hard decision, and you know, Thank if you make that decision that you're going to violate, like, your rights and, and your truth, are you going to make that hard decision and leave everything? That's what it boils down to. Or will you just take the bait? Or the mark of the beast. Or the mark of the beast. I'm not preaching, by the way, like, if you're stalking in a corner and right. you're going to, like, your family's going to starve to death or you're going to be a slave. I get it. This is stuff you, we need to really think do? about, what you know, do? because times are getting really freaking screwed up. Well, that's why you're supposed to, like, the, I think that's the little reason the Lord, basically, all this life is complicated. The Lord gave you the, the dirt and the seeds and, you know, the stuff that you needed to live. And once you get more complicated than that and introduce uh, levels of government more than you need and other people around and more, in, you know, into your life and you get more complicated... The more and the more you voluntarily uh, and uh, you know accept and submit yourself to, I don't know, let's say other people's financial systems and uh, rules, for example, and you become more and more dependent on that until you completely depend on it, like fiat money, for example. And um, if they change the rules to something you don't like or something you really don't like, you have little to no recourse. Um, and that's a big problem. Um, so, well, we we kind of are trying, but it's hard, kind of hard to do. 
Um, you like you look at guys like Bear. And even if you, know, you do, you never know what they're gonna take away. Rex, um, you know, you yeah, you, you just you try to yeah. get some property, come out of here with people. That doesn't mean anything. Well, no, but what it means is you'll probably be safer longer. Right, right. But I, I think but, in the long run, they yeah. can do whatever they want. Well, they sure. can take whatever sure. they want. Yeah. They can take your animals. They can make laws and say you can't have chickens anymore. Yeah. You can't have this anymore. Yeah. You can't do rainwater anymore. Like. It's Which hard. trying to do. Right. Like, we try to, you try to be the best that you can, but there's no guarantee. It's well, really it, up into and his that's, hands. And that's the way it's supposed to go because that's the curse because we aren't. Well, right. We haven't and, been following his, his. And the end has to come at some point, too. We haven't and, been picky, holding up our end of the covenant. No, especially in this it's country. It's not around anymore. Especially in okay. this country. Um, and then in the world, too. And I mean, there is a set time that this will fall apart. Thankfully, because who the heck wants to have this world forever? I, my, you know what I mean? Watch peeps, just move, move. So it's a hard, you know, and we've been put it's into like what, life. like a very small mini position of that, uh, to be honest. And it's, I'm sure it, will, it can get even worse. And so we just chose to trust in the Lord and go against it. Because that's what I want hey, to do really at the end. You fight it at every turn. That's how I want to be when that um, time comes. So I'm going to practice now. I'm going to practice now doing it so that way if I'm forced to in that situation, I can try my best to stand my ground. You know, I want to do whatever I have to do to make sure I'm on his side. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that might be giving up. I mean, that might be giving up a lot of things. And you might see... A lot of hurt in front of your eyes you might be killed I mean Paul was stoned how many times a lot of Christians are persecuted a lot of them died so it's hard stuff um, I'm not try yeah I just saying I know what I want to be I'm not saying to follow you know that's why I'm trying to practice now and it's just kind of conversation, right? That we've been talking about, yeah. we've been thinking about, and seeing the way that the world is going, and the the division, increased persecution of Christians, increased laws, increased poopy. Finally, I think she's settled down. We can put here, her come, here comes the crash. Yay! Good. You can sleep for the next couple hours. Yay! That is true. Cause we... I forgot having a puppy is kind of like having a baby because you just think. You can't leave, all oh, right, they went to the bathroom, they're out of the cage, you can't just let them roam around. Well, like I was a telling you, dog. That, yeah, nope. I kind of forgot that. You're lucky I did, because I would be like, no freaking way. I'm like another dog. Yep. I got, I got bamboozled and suckered. I thought you knew. I totally I kind forgot. Of forgot a little bit well, because Duke was I just, forgot how, like. Duke was just, like, 